Block Stack. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining me here today. Uh, today, we're going to be taking a deep dive into uh, the new consensus mechanism for Blockstack Stacks 2.0 network upgrade called Proof of Transfer. My name is Zan Ditkoff, and I've been the production and growth partner at Blockstack for the past three years. This is just a disclaimer. Um, our public filing is no longer live, but this is still not a sale of anything and does include forward-looking statements. To start briefly, what is Blockstack and what have we done to date for those unfamiliar? Well, Blockstack is software for a user-owned internet. We've had the Stacks 1.0 network live since 2017, uh, and we've accomplished a lot uh, over the past three years with this initial infrastructure. This has included seeing the independent application ecosystem that's built on top of it uh, swell to over 400 projects as of the end of this past year. Uh, the purpose of this initial network, the Stacks 1.0, was to prove out our design thesis uh, and that the technology uh, can handle apps at scale. Since the release of the original network, however, uh, we've been working on releasing the further full vision, uh, which is really going to be the Stacks 2.0 blockchain and network. Briefly, our thesis and really what we're releasing with the Stacks 2.0 upgrade is Web3 anchored to Bitcoin? When I say that, what I mean is that while both the ownership of digital assets and execution of smart contracts are recorded on the Stacks chain, uh, the security is ultimately extended from the Bitcoin network. And we'll see shortly exactly how that's accomplished. The upgrade is going to build on top of what the Stacks 1.0 network already offers, adding key pieces uh, to the success we've seen already. This is uh, some of what the traction that we were able to get with the 1.0 network uh, that we are then uh, looking to build upon with the 2.0. From a technical perspective, 2.0 builds um, on 1.0 uh, by adding specifically the new consensus algorithm, uh, as well as unique uh, feature sets for our network, such as Clarity Smart Contracts and support for light clients. Now that we've covered Blockstack and the basics of the 1.0 to the upgraded 2.0 network, let's go into uh, that new consensus mechanism, proof of transfer. Proof of transfer is a novel uh, category of consensus mechanisms. Here we see some of the most commonly used uh, consensus categories, uh, which I think most of you are pretty familiar with. Proof of transfer is uh, essentially a, a consensus mechanism that transfers a base cryptocurrency to mint units of a new cryptocurrency. In the case of Blockstack's implementation of proof of transfer, the Stacks 2.0 implementation, uh, we're anchoring the network to Bitcoin as the underlying asset. Uh, below is kind of the simple mental model I use to think about how POX works at a high level. There are two types of participation uh, in the Stacks 2.0 proof of transfer, uh, miners, Stacks miners, and stackers. Stacks miners send Bitcoin to compete to earn Stacks tokens. Stackers add value to the network and lock up their tokens to earn the BTC that's being paid by miners to compete to mine. There's a lot of detail in, in both those statements, but they help keep the direction and type of asset flow within the system clear as things become a bit more complex. Speaking about more complex, uh, this is a diagram that unpacks proof of transfer a bit more. Uh, there are still some details here that are left out, but those are better dealt with shortly. Uh, here you can see the flow uh, 
of assets that's kind of described on the last slide. Let's now go through stacks mining and stacking each in some detail. So stacks mining, uh, one advantage of stacks mining is that it does, it, it's very similar to proof of work mining in that you are paying something of known value. Uh, in the case of Bitcoin, that's electricity. In the, in the case of us, it's Bitcoin for the chance to mint something of new digital value. Uh, and as a result, since all the the asset of known value that you are paying uh, on the Stacks 2.0 network is simply Bitcoin, uh, it does not require any special hardware or big CPU capacity. Anyone can mine Stacks. All they need is some amount of Bitcoin. Um, anyone who wants to compete to mine can do so uh, by... Uh, sending any amount of Bitcoin to the proof of transfer mechanism along with the block they are proposing. The protocol takes each of these Bitcoin payments uh, by miners as inputs and combines them with a verifiable random function in order to run the leader election. The more Bitcoin you commit, the higher your chances of winning a block. There's always some randomness introduced. Let's now look at the details of the other side of the mechanism, uh, stacking, which is a bit more complex. Stacking runs uh, on roughly a uh, seven day cycle, actually, excuse me, it says 11 day here, but that should be seven day, and runs in a prepare phase and a reward phase. During the prepare phase, anyone who wants to be a stacker completes the requirements to stack. These are to uh, lock up Stacks holdings and broadcast a signed message to the network with support for a Stacks chain tip and a Bitcoin address. The last requirement is to hold at least 0.02% uh, of the circulating supply of Stacks. This isn't actually a requirement uh, as the protocol supports pooling and delegation natively, meaning I can combine my token holdings with anyone else's in order to meet that minimum without changing the custody of my tokens at all. The reason for this threshold for stacking is to limit the maximum number of addresses the protocol uh, we need to pay out in one reward phase. So once all the eligible stackers have completed the requirements during the prepare phase, the protocol includes all their Bitcoin addresses in a reward set that then pays out five addresses at a time, each block over the next seven days until every single eligible stacker has been paid. They are paid with the Bitcoin that miners are spending to compete to mine each block. The protocol forwards that Bitcoin on to eligible stackers. And so with that, Let's take a quick look at uh, some of the opportunities that I think this novel consensus mechanism create. Specifically, I think both sides create an interesting economic flywheel for participants that are uh, taking part in consensus. And this flywheel represents potentially an untapped design space for new products and services focused on Web 3.0 on top of Bitcoin. Blockstack PBC is really just focused on the core underlying protocol and is soon uh, rebranding and shifting focus to only do, uh, look at and develop developer tools with the technology. Um, and not really uh, as much the uh, de software tools and services that can make things like consensus participation uh, easier. Uh, this is kind of combined with the existence of four to 5,000 Stacks token holders from our Reg A offering who will need services such as pooling and delegation in order to participate. Uh, some categories of what I think we could see built in the near future are here on the right. And I think also set a fundamental basis uh, for what can be built uh, even further down the road. 
In addition, I think stacks mining and stacking themselves are services that I'd like, and I think we will see integrated into existing applications and platforms. Um, and kind of what I imagine by that uh, will, pro in terms of stacking and stacks mining, probably becoming features within other apps or wallets down the line. Uh, on the right, this is something of what I'm imagining there. And so uh, where are we right now with the mainnet, the launch of this new consensus mechanism, uh, and how can you get involved? So the entire community has put a ton of work into the Stacks 2.0 upgrade. And right now the testnet is live. Uh, we are uh, getting to the end of the second phase. So far participants have stood up nodes, uh, created novel clarity smart contracts. We actually just had a really cool hackathon that a lot of um, pretty amazing contracts came out of, uh, as well as mining testnet stacks. In the coming weeks, we'll be adding stacking functionality and the full proof of transfer uh, to the testnet, along with uh, some bounties on building tools and resources and finding bugs. To join the testnet, just go to testnet.blockstack.org. Uh, you can find everything you need there. Uh, and Lastly, just want to say thank you for the time. And for folks that are looking to get more involved in our community, in addition to checking out the testnet site, uh, join our Discord as well as just blockstack.cc. Uh, if you want to follow or reach out to me, uh, I'm mostly active on Twitter. If there's anything I mentioned today you want to dive more into, uh, please do reach out. Um, love kind of just chatting and, and having conversations, going down rabbit holes with this stuff. Um, so please do hit me up. And uh, with that, thank you for the time and uh, look forward to hopefully meeting some of you virtually. Bye.